welcome to my channel first of all a very big thank you for those who have subscribed to my channel for those who haven't a kind request please do so and also if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and if you do not follow me on my instagram page please do so vivian underscore isonga is the page do not mind this uh it's at night around nine so um I just did my hair and it doesn't look good so that's why I have this hoodie yeah so today I'm going to make some chips so I just felt like I should show you how I do my chips so you all have different ways of cooking maybe how you do it is different from how you do it but I'm just going to show you guys how I do it maybe um, you might think of or you might decide to try my method and see if there's any difference in the taste or yeah so i'm going to just set up here because you can see oh, these are just popcorn that i made yesterday and yeah this is what remained i should probably finish it you know it's not too late popcorn stay because that when the air goes in they they ain't nice they don't taste good well, so i should probably finish this so i'm gonna set up here and then we will start in case i do not have time to finish towards the end of the video just know that i do really appreciate your support and keep subscribing you can share my videos um on the social media platforms on the whatsapp status uh, i'd really appreciate so let's get into it my knife so we're going to start is it peeling the potatoes so i'm just switching to work mode so just have your water set there then just do the potatoes so i normally use just use a knife so we're going to start For me, using a knife, like for my chips, I just use my uh, the knife. Sorry, it doesn't even check long. Let's see if I find one. 
Or should I do it from this plate so that you guys can see? So we're going to start. I see people using chopping boards, but I normally just do it like this. So I'm not going to use a chopping board because I'm used to doing it this way. So I'm just going to slice this into sizable pieces. So when I'm done, I go ahead and just slice this way for cut. When I do this, it's much faster than using a chopping board. So just like that. So I'm doing it slow so that you guys can see, but it's. I normally do it quite fast. Um, here we are. So you can see from here, this is better. So this is how it looks like. So I just do that until I'm done. So I don't use a chopping board. This is faster. this long potatoes so you're able to get really nice pieces of uh, potato sticks you see how this looks like and we are done cutting the chips or slicing the chips into these very beautiful pieces so this is what I have so after you've sliced other chips we are going to wash again so I'm going to return this in here So when done draining the water, you're not supposed to put your chips direct into the oil as it is. You need to dry the water. So I get a cloth. So I have my cloth here. So this is my cloth. Just place it on the surface. Then just put your chips so that you can dry them. So when you do this, the chips are able to cook quick and also you see water and oil, like I mean, they do not like agree. Yeah? So you also avoid burning yourself because you put water direct into the oil and also you make it cooks really fast. And also you avoid uh, using a lot of oil because by the time it absorbs, is it absorbing the um, oil, it will have really taken a lot of oil to cook your chips. So this is what I do. So you just dry them like that. that. fast and easy. 
as you can see here. So my oil is cooking and I'm gonna use this to put in the chips and I'll show you what I'll do with this sufuria. So it's here because I'll be placing my chips here. So I have this. This is too big so for this kind of pan this is too big so if you you can get a smaller one the better but this is a little bit too big i find it difficult or hard to use so let me put my chips here i also prefer putting a small portion of chips so that um, depending on the amount of oil you are using, um, it does not soak in the, in the oil. This is the much I'm going to put in the oil. So you have to put your oil to be really hot. So it's on a high heat and then these are the chips. So as the oil cooks, I'm going to set up my plate. So it's advisable you just use a serviette so that you can drain the oil. So this is my serviette. So I just placed the serviette on the plate. And you can test if the oil is cooked or if it's hot enough. small portions like I said and then before it fully cooks I remove it place it aside like uh, in a sphere and then do the second portion and then now when I'm done I return the chips again for the second time so that, that they can cook well but if in a hurry you don't have to do that you can just let it cook at once but when you do it like twice it, it's even better so that's exactly what I want to do here. So I didn't have enough potatoes, so that's why you see I don't have much going on here. I think I even ate some of it. Uh, like three days ago so that's why I don't have much so let's see I told you this thing is big normally gives me a problem you see it so I normally use a spatula but today I just like by using it but this is too big there's a smaller size to this so I should probably get to the smaller size it works it could work better. So I want to remove, but let me check how long it has taken. So it has taken three minutes. So the first portion has three minutes. So I'm going to remove. this way yeah. the 
and I'm putting the second portion. So this is the second portion and I think I didn't even measure. Like this is even more than what I put here but it's fine. So we're gonna, because this is more than what was the first portion, we're going to do an extra like two minutes. So we're going to do this for five minutes compared to this which we used uh, three minutes. Go ahead. 
ahead and cook the salt. golden brown or just uh, like this so this is done so I'm going to put it on this plate so And this is how my chips or french fries look like. Like I said, if you want something mm, crunchy and golden brown, you can always let it cook until um, it has turned to how you want it to be. But I normally do not like crispy and crispy, crunchy, golden brown chips, so I prefer it this way. So that's why I didn't let it cook for longer. So these are my chips and that's how I do my chips. So if you notice that the method I've used is slightly different from what you do, you can try this uh, method and then let me know on the comment section how it came out. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and do have a lovely one.